Riots have been going on for a week. It's over a police-involved shooting. And we've seen the same thing here in America. And we all remember the summer of love when BLM rioters torched police precincts and small businesses. This is what happens when a country loses faith and loses patriotism. Now, we're not France yet. There are still strong pockets of people in this country who love America with their whole heart, who have roots in their community and have faith in a power greater than themselves. They won't let America fall apart. Let's bring in Vivek Ramswamy. He is a 2024 GOP presidential candidate. So great to have you on, Vivek. You know, I've been thinking about the election coming up. I know you think about it probably every minute of the day. Uh, This is not a tax rate election. This is about foundational things like patriotism. So tell me what you plan to do to bring back something that foundational. Look, our diversity is not our strength. Our strength, Rachel, is what unites us across that diversity. E pluribus unum, the values that unite us. That's what we've forgotten. I think there are some basic steps we can take, Rachel, to revive national pride, especially in that next generation of Americans. As the first millennial ever to run for the GOP nomination, I think that's my responsibility. One of the things that I think we should require is that every high school senior who graduates from high school should be required to pass the same civics test required of every immigrant who becomes a naturalized Mm. citizen in this country. Young people don't value a country they just inherit. They value a country they have a stake in knowing something about. Those are examples, Rachel. It's not a Republican idea or a Democrat Mm -hmm. idea. We're going to have to think outside the standard partisan and identitarian boxes to ask ourselves how our kids' generation will once again be proud of the greatest country known to mankind. That's the United States of America. You know, Vivek, there's no doubt that so much of this lack of patriotism, lack of knowledge about the things that you talk about, our Constitution and our history, is happening in the schools. Now, you say that you want to chop off the head of the snake. Um, If you're elected, you promise to get rid of the Department of Education. But aren't the teachers' colleges also a place where we're training teachers to then go out into the schools and create new activists, social justice warriors, instead of educating our population? You're right that the problem is pervasive and there is no silver bullet. I think there's a role for everyone to play. It's just that I'm running for U.S. president. I'll tell you what the U.S. president can do that's most effective. Shut down the Department of Education that uses that money as a cudgel to get local local school districts to adopt toxic and racial agendas. Instead, give that money back to those schools to fund underfunded school choice programs in those states. But it's going to require a comprehensive response. And I think part of the problem, Rachel, is especially you're pointing to the right frontier, our schools. When young people no longer learn the rights that they even have in this country, most young people couldn't really enumerate what they have in the Bill of Rights now. Then when you take those rights away, they don't know what they've lost. So this is actually part of the path, not just to a country that's no longer proud. It's the path to an authoritarian state, because what does an authoritarian state require? It requires a population that didn't know the rights that they actually enjoyed. Yeah. That's what history teaches us. Yeah. So the loss of freedom and the loss of national pride, they go together. Yeah. And it explains why it was young people that I thought would rise up the most under all these authoritarian COVID rules. And they were the most complacent of any part of the population. Um, that explains a lot of why they just don't even know what rights they have. So when they're taken away, they think it's normal. Um, Vivek, great having you on the campaign. You're bringing up a lot of great issues and inspiring a lot of the other candidates um, to follow suit. I think you're a great influence on this entire process. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Rachel. All right. Take care. Well, as you know, tomorrow is the 4th of July, so don't miss the big independence.